or Super Llama here. Um, I've got a lot of locks in my picket bucket. Just move that out of the way. It's overflowing and it hasn't been overflowing for quite some time before, so figured I'd get into some, some of the easier stuff to try and clear it out. Um, not to say challenge locks aren't easier, but I think uh, opposed to some of the locks I've got in there, like uh, Abloid Protect, Kaba Peaks, uh, what is it, Kaba Expert, and Kaba Quattro, things like that. Um, challenge locks uh, are rather easy. So this is a challenge lock by Bobby Keys, Thunderstruck, I believe that is. Works pretty good, usual slide keyway. Um, got this uh, DeForest Diamond lock pick from uh, a, uh, a Discord user, Diggs. Um, beautiful DeForest Diamond, 19 thousandths. I'm going to give that a try and see how this does. Haven't actually put it to the test, and it's so pretty, and I really don't want to. But, uh, you know, all lock picks must get used eventually. And possibly even some rat yolks. So, um, let's see what we got here. Uh, where did I put the key? Looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, two, six pin. Yep, okay. Like a click off of two, click off of six, counter rotation, and click off of three, over set on two, so I dropped it back down, click off of one. Click off of four, five. Over set on three. Click off of four. So an over set on three again. Clicks on one. That feels like an overset on four, five. Might have overset three again. Dropped him back down. Bunch of clicks on six. Might have been an overset on him as well. Let's try the other direction. Getting a little bit more feedback on uh, counterclockwise here. Well, there's a bit of a false set off of four or five. Click off of one there. Now I've lost my false set. Yeah, definitely lost it. I'm going to go to something a little bit thicker because this guy's a little bit too thin, if that makes sense. Here's my false set back. That's off of five. 
little bit off of six. Deadlock. What's going on? Absolutely nothing. Let me go back to the uh, thinner pick here. Maybe I can get something else out of this. false set looks like. Oh, I felt something. I don't know how many pins I dropped there because I've lost a huge amount of false set that I had. done to this thing but I'm thinking maybe uh, an undercut or two and some threading very very serrated We got our deep false sent back there. Just looking for those pins that are holding us up. deeper a little bit deeper again running out of camera time here Whoop, and it's open okay I gotta get this thing fast it's at 940 and it runs out of time at 13 and a half Okay, 
got about two minutes before this thing complains. All the pins are in there. Got about a minute left before I lose it here. get into the details after I just want to get this thing gutted so that way uh, it's all nicely gutted I got the springs after nasty t-pin oh that's weird okay cut the camera and uh, I'll get back to you guys in a second okay had to uh, clear up some space on the camera that was like this like this that was that way Just gotta get the springs out of here. Which I believe they all look like they were copper springs. That one looks like a brass spring actually. It's uh, gold, which is interesting. Very short, very short one there. I'm missing one. Okay, so what do we got? The Bible is entirely stock. The plug has, if it will, maybe give myself a little more light. There we go. Uh, one, three, four, five are threaded. Two and six. Uh, they look pretty standard. Yep. Pins. We got pretty fun here. Standard or er, uh, serrated key pin. Um, spooly goodness there. St uh, spool um, serrated 
serrated, serrated, and torpedo. We have a drunken driver, uh, drunken spool up top, very thin spool, a graduated serrated spoolie looking thing, another one of those graduated spoolie serrations, deep spool. Um, this one actually had a wafer on top, so I'm wondering if that was to add a little bit of spring pressure because these are very, this is a very weak spring. Um, and a spoolie serrated guy like that um, in six. So give me a second here to put everything together. all the way down yes it is okay so focus maybe there we go so these pins are for the most part down pretty far except for uh, three I probably won't be able to put everything all together so you're gonna have to uh, imagine with me here. Oh, this pin I actually forgot in four. That's why. That is a pin and pin. I totally forgot until I noticed it here. It's just a little peg on the inner, and it's a full uh, sheath here, serrated. Oops. I got it. tweezers. There. So the peg stands a little bit longer than the uh, the sleeve does. But that's okay. That's why that wafer's on top. So I may have to do this one at a time here because these pins are so floppy. So you have your drunken uh, spool on one. You'll have a full thin spool, which is very effective on two. A little bit of a nub there for three. You'll have your pin and pin on four, and both parts are very, very effective. Um, and it is in a threaded section. Very thin spool on five, and all of it's gonna grab in there very, very well. And another one of these uh, graduated spool looking guys, and that grabs in there very, very nicely. So, Bobby Keys, amazing work on these pins. Um, it's not often I see pin and pin on challenge locks that I get. So it is a treat to uh, get a challenge lock with them in there. I had no clue at all that uh, it was a pin and pin in this lock whatsoever. So um, thank you for that. And honestly, keep up that awesome work because these, these pins are very well made. Um, everyone else, thanks for watching. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.